All right, Dan Campbell, love that guy. He's at it again, talking about how the hyenas better get out of the way. Um, I'm going to tell you why this is a little corny, doesn't really make sense, but like the bigger point to all of all of it and what he's doing. So uh, a little backstory to it. He was at the Lions open practice at Ford Field, somewhere like 20, 10, or excuse me, 10 to 20,000 um, fans were there. So pretty good turnout just for a practice. And so the point of that is to try to get with fans. You know, they spend time before and after. And it's pretty cool. So one of the moments, though, he, he grabs the microphone. He's talking about how uh, Detroit people are really hospitable and they'd give the shirt off your back and it's kind of making sense. It's kind of not. And he's talking about how on game day we're not going to be hospitable. And and then he talks about how we're hungry, we're starving, and the hyenas better get out of the way. And uh, just a classic Dan Campbell grabbing the mic and saying something. So, again, it doesn't really make sense. It kind of does. It's like it, it gets you pumped up, but you're like this is kind of funny. So I don't know if he's talking about the, like the lions. We're going to go eat and the opponent might be the hyenas and they need to get out of the way. I don't know. Love it. But it made me think of Newt Rockney and the reason he was so popular. Notre Dame was so popular was because he was one of the first to a televise a game, but B let the media in and, and write a story, write a story for the newspaper on Notre Dame football and their first opponent. And it's like, Whoa, that's like where it all started, where, um, you know, you just, you got, you got excited about Notre Dame football because they were the only ones on TV, the only ones you could read about. Like, what are they doing? What's going on here? And he loved that and really embraced that. And that's what Dan Campbell's doing. And it's like, it's absolutely like I've seen Isaiah Stewart from the Pistons was there, a big podcast. Um, the the Lions just said, come on in because that podcast took a little film, you know, footage of practice. And then they interviewed Jared Goff. And it's like, yes, like, Thank you. This, this is what you want. You want excitement. You want, um, I saw the PGA tour guys were there at, at practice. It's like, this is what you want. The, um, Red Wings were there. Red Wings media, obviously hard knocks. So you can talk about it. So then we're talking about it. Guys like me and Craig, like we're, we're talking about the lines. We're getting excited. We want to know more. It just, it motivates and brings everybody up versus the, the Matt Patricia, bring it down, bring it down. Nobody talk, nobody look in here. We're, it's like, man, that, that, that just seems kind of weird. Right. So I, I, I had this pulled up. This is what Dan Campbell exactly said. This team is working their rear, rear off to give you something to be proud of. They're grinding it out right now. And I know this we're starving. So the hyenas better get out of the way. So there, there it is. This is on Pride of Detroit. They got the entire speech below. It's kind of hard to hear. So I just um, kind of read it out and just talked about how that made remind me of Newt Rockney and how Newt Rockney, man, that's what he, that, that was his whole thing. Like, come on, let's bring it up. Let's get interest. And it's just, it's so refreshing and so good for a Lions fan to, to see that. But to see Dan Campbell, then just grab the mic you know, again, it, I don't know. I don't really know what you're saying. Is that going to help us win games? I don't know. But it's like, who cares? Thank you for like just saying some stuff, getting the fans going. We've talked about it before when he was first hired. He went to the auto workers, um, you know, just said, yay, blue collar guys, girls, let's let's do this. Like, just thank you. You get it. You get that. We, we want to get behind a team. We have not been able to really get behind a team because we haven't had an identity. We just haven't like even back in the Stafford and Dominic and Sue Kelvin years, that was just a bunch of guys, just really talented guys kind of put together. Let's see if it works. We've got a good quarterback. I don't know. Caldwell's coming in. You know, it's just, what's our thing. And we've always just gone from one coach to the next. And it's a mixture of Caldwell and Patricia's guys and Jim Schwartz and Caldwell. And it's it, different philosophies and we're kind of getting there. And then Patricia was the perfect example. He comes in and all he's trying to do is just, completely change it to to what what are, what are we like the smartest team out there are we like are we uh, like what what's our thing and and then finally um finally dan campbell's like hey look we're grit we've got something to stand behind you're getting to see jamal williams in front of the camera you're like okay like that guy leader you're getting to see more about st brown you're learning about hawkinson you're learning about the coaches you're learning about like i mean they'll show you like the assistant wide receiver coach and you're like didn't know that didn't know your story Antoine Randall L you know it's just like I I want to see that I want to get behind this team we have an identity just like the 04 Pistons just like the the Tigers in 06 like 
oh yeah, Joel Zamaya is going to come in and set this up. You know, you just had, you knew what was going to happen. You knew the team, you knew the roles, you knew the players, you knew the leaders, you knew, you know, you know all that stuff. And that's just like, I get what they're doing. I love what Dan Campbell's doing just from the whole thing where he's giving guys more ability to talk, get to know you. This is our identity. We want people to see, embrace it, hard knocks, everything, bring it on. So love it. Let me know in the comments, your thoughts on this. Just seeing Dan Campbell continue to be out in front. He just gets it. He gets the excitement that he's trying to build the lions and just everything that he's doing is real. And I love it. So make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments, your thoughts on Dan Campbell, and we'll see you on the next.